previously on Undertale Yellow. Hello. So, uh, how are your bones, sir? And now back to... Gee, would you look at that? I can almost see the king's castle from here. Heh, <laughs> Asgore. Monsters shower him with praise, but it's totally overblown. See, he's what they call a boss monster. Means he has special traits. More power than others. When you take him down, his soul will stay intact. But only for a moment before... Boom, you win. I've heard the guy's been mortal, too. He can't age a second. At least not anymore. Wild, huh? Boss monsters know how to cling to life, that's for sure. Oh. Hey, don't let all that info scare you. Immortal doesn't mean invincible. And still, a human soul is more powerful than a boss monster's soul. Asgore may seem intimidating, but it's all show. Deep down, he's afraid of you. True pushover. Anyway, just thought I'd prepare my pal for what's to come. Where is it? I can't... Yeah. That's really pretty, like... Classic rock, rock Dropper 900. All she is amazing. Okay. Don't know why they installed some Rock Droppers up there. Like, like that could be a good thumbnail or something, I'm thinking. I don't know. Sorry, I'm trying to center myself on this path while I run. Oh boy. Oh. Halt! I- oh, sorry. I, El Batalur, have tasked you with confrontation. The air is much too quiet, much too dreary. You make no noise when you move. You lack rhythm, feeling, forever. If I did not know any better, I might have mistaken you for a sentinel of silence. No, no, this will not do. You must prove to me that you have what it takes. What it takes to live a life of richness. I challenge you to die. I'm sorry, are we playing DDR? To truly find oneself, they must ignite the passion within. Let us do. You guys, I think we're playing DDR. I want to see your spirit of fire. One and two and... Okay, so I have to hit A. It's time to dance. I'm gonna check. The definition of passion. Ah, that was too simple. Let us try this. Oh. Oh, yo, I took damage from hitting it when, it, when there was nothing there. Sounds of a thousand trumpets echo around you. I'm just gonna stare at him. Stop dancing and look at El Batalor. This upsets him. Heating up! Oh, this is gonna get really hard, isn't it? All the flashing lights make you dizzy. You begin to enjoy yourself and let out a grin. El Batalor smiles back. The passion! It grows! This background section, like the background to the bottom, reminds me of Earthbound. It smells like disco. You clumsily spin around. El Batalor appreciates the effort. Ah, <laughs> yes! This is what I live for. Going from red to blue is gonna be a little hard, huh? Life without dance is empty, I say. Mm. 
Okay. There's a little bit of, like, mismatch. It feels like. Maybe I should have healed. Others say that dance can also take a life away. I do not know what they mean. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to heal this turn. Elvatlor throws sand in the air like confetti. Gross. He's going to have some peanuts. You with the packing peanuts. Aside from the taste, texture, and potential health risk, they're not that bad. <laughs> A world of solitude and silence? That is not for me. The underground is much too depressing, you see. I am not great at this. Ugh. Sick. We are trapped within the barrier with no hope for freedom. I don't think I would have had it, by the way, so that in boss fights and many bosses, all of the different acts, like, did something. You know, have it so that when you stare at him, the song slows down or something. Um, or alternatively, like, like, have it so that there's one thing that makes it easier, one thing that makes it harder, and one thing that, like, mixes things up a little bit. A sad, sad situation. But it is not sad for I. This is gonna be really hard, isn't it? El Batalor flexes, flexes his huge muscles. Grave the hot honeydew coffee. We must make do with what we have. Find time for activities that make us happy. I'm outgoing because happiness is not a quiet virtue. I often encourage monsters in hope uh, that it is contagious. Okay. Yeah, it feels like this is a little bit... A little bit suboptimal. Even if Monster Time is cursed through this grim state, we must stick it out to the end. All the way up to the finale. Is that the end of the boss fight? Because the music did just stop. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, that's just mean! That's just mean! How was I supposed to do that? Come on, buddy. Surely you can dance better than that. The Osprey of the Five. Ah, oh, that was much too simple. Okay. I think it also would have been cool to have it so that, like, you can hit it higher up than you should, but if you hit it, like, right as it lines up, it, like, I don't know, has a chance to heal you or something? I don't know. I feel like the complexity of these boss fights just comes from bullet patterns and really very little that the player is doing. It grows. That being said, this is a really cool concept for a boss fight. I think also another part of it is that I'm expecting to have to, like, Instead of snapping back to the middle, like I currently do, I'm expecting to have to, like, move between the middle. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't actually entirely get how, uh... Oh, sick. How dance can take a life away. Today's stream is sponsored by water. And by sponsored by, I mean that I would literally be dead if I had never drank water before. It's not morbid, it's just how the world works. off the sponge. My mouth feels squeaky clean. I didn't mean to do that one, but whatever. Trap the barrier. Okay. this concept, but I feel like it just doesn't quite respond right, you know? Still more coming. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh no, that was the last hit. Five minutes later. Come at me. I'm in three places at once. Do not, do not do any more, please. You have proven your passion, little one. I apologize if the dance was strenuous on your health. Sometimes having fun means a few doctors. However, it seems you do not love dance as much as I. Perhaps you find happiness through other means. I have never considered that for quiet monsters such as you. Ah, well, at least I hope your day has been brighter. I wish you a fulfilling journey. Farewell. Hey, that was a cool concept for a boss fight. I think that it could have been done better. Oh, I thought that was another path I could take. I feel like it could have been done better, but it was pretty alright. Pick up the dimensional satchel. Oh, yo, that's sick, actually. I like that a lot. I wonder if there's like a thing of dynamite that I can set off to make a shortcut. Attention, gift shop ahead. Opening hours. Lunch break. Nice. Hi. Dip right up. We got a blowout sale going on. It may look like we're almost sold out, but quite the contrary. We only ordered one stock of mug. It has been on this trusty shelf for 13 years. Demand is depressingly low, so take advantage of this offer now. Only 400? No, I'm sorry, man. I don't... I do kind of want to know what it does. But I don't have enough. Oh. Oh, sick. That's gone. Flowey! Howdy! It looks like we're back on solid ground. That mine sure was a detour. What a bunch of slackers. Anyway, let's keep up the pace, buddy! <sighs> this playground used to be fun. Ever since my playmates stopped showing up, it's become boring. I wonder where they went. Why do you have a mouth in your stomach?
little flowers. Violetta passively approaches from the flower bl flower bre bled. Oh, bed. Blah, blah. I'm going to flatter you because I like your hat and also the the very rich colors of black and white. Hi. shuffles her feet. You tell Violetta she has nothing to fear. Alright, here goes nothing. Oh boy. Ow. Violetta blushes. Sick. I'm gonna go buy that mug. I mean, if, listen, if I'm gonna fall in a hole, I need to bring souvenirs home for my parents. I promised them when I was younger. My, my mother always said, sweetheart, if you ever fall in a hole. Oh, I have my chance to buy the premium mug, but refuse. Looks like it won't fit. What? Frick. Oh no, I've broken my promise to my mother. My mother always said, Now, sweetheart, if you ever fall or, and or jump down a hole, you need to promise to bring me a mug. So, you know. Oh, hi, Flowey. Howdy! Uh, gee, looks like we're getting close to an exit from this place. Aside from those mines, time has been pretty friendly to us. It could be a simple journey from here. Over. Great. Oh, hello. Clover! You're alive! You're here! You're... here. I can't believe myself! I left you all alone in that cave. You had to brave the dunes by yourself. I'm a horrible friend. They trust me to be a royal guard and I left a child for dead. Like, what's wrong with me? Chill. Okay. I should take a few breaths and properly assess the situation. The crash just happened so fast. And when I saw what had happened to you, I panicked. I flew over the sandy landscape and found this town. I soon realized that I couldn't risk getting other monsters involved. They might have questioned me and I cannot keep secrets. They could have turned us into more sinister royal guards. So I, uh, sat by a cactus for an hour, thinking of what a piece of garbage I am. Then I got the courage to travel back to you and apologize, but here you were. So I'm deeply sorry. Yeah, you're good. Thank you, Clover. You're very kind. Anyway, we should move on. I decided that I won't leave your side now. I'll follow wherever you lead. You just endured some crazy underground shenanigans, though. I'd understand if you need to rest for a bit. If you want to hang around, that's great! I didn't get to sightsee at all on the way over here. Well then, friend, shall we be off? Yo, sick party members! Anyway, let's go. Welcome to Oasis Valley, home to the largest body of water in the dunes. Is so wet. The reflection sparkles and distorts in the pool of water. You notice a high-tech filtration system keeping it drinkable. Hello, darling. How are you doing today? It's a lovely day, ain't it? Is it always as hot and humid, you think? I just moved here from Snowden, so I'm not sure yet. But a local like you would know, right? I got a question for you, actually. Do you develop some sort of spectrum of hot around here? See, like, not just hot, but blazing hot versus sweltering hot. You know what? You look busy. We'll talk later or something. This monster is too busy quen quenching their thirst to speak. With eye catching water like that, who could resist? Today's stream has been sponsored by water. I'm drink some water or I'm gonna break into your house and steal your knees. Hi! Hey, dude. I know you'll say no, but I'm selling free hugs. Darn it, you already read my sign, didn't you? Oh. Bake sale, bake sale! I'll meet food made by spiders, for spiders, of spiders. All pro proceeds go to spiders in need. Will you buy a spider donut? Yeah, okay. You are most gracious. Have a nice day. I'm actually gonna buy a second spider donut, just because, like, this is the first actually really affordable healing item I've seen. With 12 HP? Okay. Some kind of ancient inscription. Okay, hang on. Does one of these have loss on it? I don't think any of them have loss on it. I expected it to have loss. Oh, hi. Are you Plot? Oh, hey, Clover! 
Remember how I told you I apprehended a human last week? That's her. You still think I'm your... Your captain did explain I'm not human, right? Please tell me she did. Oh, I'm sorry. I just thought you... No, no. I'm sorry. I just get it often. It's totally fine. I won't believe how many grumpy monsters I deal with. Not that you're a grumpy monster. I'm sure you're very nice. <clears throat> anyway, what's your name? It's Clover. Huh? No, not you, silly. Her. I... Actually, how about Red? That's what your colleagues have kept calling me every time I get falsely apprehended. To be honest, I hoped that eventually I'd be caught enough that you'd all recognize me and it'd stop. It might just be wiser to join the guard at this point. Join? That would be fantastic! I'd be glad to show you the ropes of my job. They're a witness! If they joined, they'd be a witness! You could even help me build puzzles! That might be a code violation now that I think about it. Ah, uh, it's fine! What? It can't be that easy to get in, right? I mean, they let me join. We'll figure something out. Me and Clover have some important business to attend to. But I should be free next week. You can find me doing my duty around Snowden any day. Oh, you're serious. Ah, uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sure. Sounds like a plan. See you then. See ya. Yep, come on. Here's the mail, it never fails. It makes me wanna wag my tail. When it comes, I wanna well. Shuffler's letter. To a latest Shuffler's recruit, those the it. There's someone out in the wild we've got to warn you about. This scruffy fellow with a blue hat. Don't interact with him or support his endeavors. Won't tell you why, because this letter reads way cooler as a mystery. Now I'll let Sweet finish this. He gets upset when he misses out on writing letters. Yeah, upset. Sweet. Oh, I can just talk. There's so much to see in this town. I'm getting some strong Honeydew Resort vibes. After I get tired of keeping the peace every day, I may move here. A mighty fine retirement plan, yeah. Aren't you, like, biologically built for cold weather, though? Based on the feathers? Triplets. Those look like relatively thick feathers. Sorry, I'm not home. A sapling sits within the ground, new to life and unsure of itself. It is full of potential, but has yet to reach it. One day, it might. Hang on. Oh. I remember this game working more efficiently in the past. Your pressure seems to have been tampered with or something. Considering this table doubles the AC as the AC, that ain't good news. Have you given up your life of being a Wrangler to experience modernism? I at least you're just doing so. It is the most prestigious life one could choose. Chic architecture, light switches, latte machines, it's all here. Once you indulge, you can't stop. Ooh, is this one of those things? A tree? Child's drawing depicting three happy monsters. My precious family, by me. That's a tree, but okay. I would sell you something, but I'm on strike. Yona needs to butt it better themselves. That's me. I'm the owner. <laughs> That's really good, actually. I really like that joke. Snake? Hi. Hello, traveler. Would you be interested in having your fortune told? Only five? Yeah, sure, why not? You may be thinking that price is a little low. A quality fortune comes from experienced fortune teller costs 5G. All your suspicions would be correct. See, I'm a fortune teller in training, so I'm selling tiny fortunes. Practice, you see. So, can I interest you in a bite-sized fortune? Sure. Why not? Let's see what the world has in store for us. Hmm. Oh dear. The future seems to indicate you're in for a tumble. Oh no, 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 no. Looks like a big one, too. It'll happen very soon. Hang on. Oh, tumbleweed. I guess I got a little excited and missed that second part. Sorry for the scare. Looks like everything is fine after all. Okay. It's weird that it had, like, my space pop up, because I thought it was going to give me an item. It was going to be like, a, oh, hey, you know, you're going to need a good luck charm. And then it was just going to be kind of a scam, and then I could sell it later. Above the paint, above the table is a painting of a large swelter stone. It's almost as if the heat leaps right off the canvas. Hello. Visiting from the Wild East, are you? 
I must say, I haven't seen your face around these parts. Welcome to my abode, young one. As you may notice, I have a knack for the preservation of life. Grass is very rare here. For any to grow, it must be a source of water close by or amongst the ground. I try my best to keep my own little patch happy. It's one of my many hobbies. Sick. Going up your stairs. You found... Sick! Theft! I love theft! Do you want your money? Doomsden used to be like this. Rivers, trees, and plenty of grass painted the area. Lush and beautiful. This was years ago, of course. Memories often escape me. It's hard. It's hard to blame anyone for the loss of those things. For miners had no idea such a large stone could kill an ecosystem. No one did. It was a new discovery at a time. I suppose it was nature's will. Aha! That's why it's all... That's why it's so hot here, because of that swelter stone. A large, ornate gate. Unfortunately, it's locked. I think that mask was shown off at the end of one of the trailers. Interesting. Next boss, maybe? I will say, I'm not sure who the boss of this area would be, because usually there's, like, a character that fiddles with us the entire way through. Hi! Sorry, buddy, this path is blocked. I am moving no matter what anyone does to provoke me. You wouldn't understand. No boss behavior. Okay. Sure. Hi, Flowey. Interesting. He's not showing up while she's around. Dune's wishing well. Hold a G close to your chest, think of what you want most, and toss it in. You never know. If enough monsters wish for something, it may come true. Well, 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 what do we have here? Oh, I left all my G at home. Would you lend me one? Yeah. Thank you! Hmm. I wish. The clover will make it back home safely. <laughs> oh, that wish isn't coming true. Now you have me and a wish on your side. Ah, I see. An oak base with iron nails holding it together. Oh, sorry, I was nerding out for a second. Sure is a cool wagon. <laughs> I am definitely not the kind of person who spends all of my spare time looking at wagons. Huh? Hang on, I think someone's coming this way. Hello. Oh. Okay. It's the, the foreman's kid, I bet. Guys, looky here. Someone new has stumbled into our humble town. This better not be another joke. For once, I don't look, doesn't look like it is. Is that Nico from One Shot? Hi, strangers. Oh, hello. We're just passing through. We mean no harm, I promise. That's what the last guy said. Let's just say he's one with the wind now. Oh my gosh, you... <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding around. You were shaking in your boots for a second. Uh, you just joked about, like, actually murdering another person. <laughs> you sure got me. That wasn't very funny, Edward. I can assure you we are a delight to be around. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. Hi. Ugh. Why do you two insist on scaring away every monster you meet? At least Mooch never oversteps her bounds. Never! Um, well, it was a pleasure to meet you four, but... We'll be going... Hold it right there, Missy. Of course, the dramatic song. My pal's giving you trouble. Come now. That ain't a good way to treat guests now, is it? Name's North Star. I run this town. Not alone, of course. These fine monsters are my posse. Together we are. The Feisty Five. Dang. Good entrance. A name stands for. Fearlessness. Excellence. Intuition. Sneakiness. Toughness. Youthfulness. Justice. The J is silent. Anyway, now that we're introduced, I'd be glad to give you and your buddy a tour. Hold on. Your buddy? Are they, uh... Human? Um, well, 
I won't say no. I knew it. There ain't no doubt in my mind that this kid's a real, living, authentic, bona fide human. Sorry about this. I gotta seize this once in a lifetime opportunity. Ed, fetch me that kid. The thing. You just stepped. Okay, that's fine. I like. <laughs> wait, wait, what are you. Oh, what? <laughs> Thank you.